Good morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut. It is Friday, August 11, and I like to think that August 1st just about marks our halfway point through the season here in New England. We have about a 10-month season. Uh, we really don't get rolling until mid-March, beginning of April. Uh, we had a little bit of a, a warmer season this year, so we do, we're doing a little bit of work in February, but then we got snowed out for the first half of March and really didn't start cranking until April. And then we're gonna run right through to just about Christmas time. So right about now, things seem to slow down in July and August a bit. Uh, fortunately, I timed my vacation just right, so we went on vacation, and uh, we got plenty of work to do here for August. Uh, we're booking into September now already. Getting a nice full jug. We got gutter cleaning to do, house washing to do, all sorts of fun stuff. My soap tank currently is uh, Southeast Soft Wash. Um, I think it's called Southern Slang. It's the red one. It smells kind of cherry-ish. Uh, we used that for roof washing yesterday. Seemed to work really well. We don't use any surfactant currently for house washing. Little breakfast going on for me. I got a piece of strawberry toast. And I've got my coffee mug from Marika's Place, which I'm currently sponsoring the mugs. So my name is right on the mug with some other contractors and builders. And that's worked out nicely for us. Catch you guys in a few minutes on the job. set up and running on this nice little cape out in Brooklyn, Connecticut. I washed here before like two or three years ago. This house is very dirty again. I think the first time I was here was with the four gallon. I got Quinn out back with me today. It's a bit of an extension dormant out in the back porch or whatever. He's soft washing with the uh, eight gallon per minute back there. I'm out front here with the X6 because I'm shooting these roofs and the front of this house is nasty. So I'm going to give it some pre-treat I'll probably wash the front while he's out back. Shooting the roofs from the ground here today, no problem. Will take me only a few minutes. And these are gonna come back fantastic. Nice gray shingles with just some black mildew on them streaking down. So it's gonna come out real nice instant result here today. Yesterday, working with Patrick, we got through our big roof cleaning job. And I go home and I was looking around and we lost our remote control for the X6. Unfortunately, I must have left it on the job or left it on the back of the truck somewhere. We may have some time to go take a look for it, but it's doubtful. So unfortunately, the system only came with one remote for me to start with. I got to call into Jimmy Hall to get another one. But it will be okay. I could do a little manual back and forth in the meantime. We don't use this for much else than roof washing currently. So what I like about this X6, what's real convenient, is right here, no ladder placement for me. I'm on that peak, no problem. Shooting this roof literally is taking me minutes because of this. Plenty of volume. And then we're also washing here, so we're not too worried about overspray on the house. As you can see, we're in the country. We've got no crazy vegetation going on to worry about. Gutters don't drain into anything beautiful. So we're gonna fly through this one here today. We've got six projects on the schedule. Gutter cleaning done on the first project already. You saw that with the blower, that was a piece of cake. I'll say again, gutter cleaning is the lead driver for me. I keep trying to fire gutter cleaning because I think it's the you know least fun thing to do, but I've changed my mindset about that in the last couple years. And uh, you know, come fall, I turn into a gutter cleaning company that power washes on the side. And gutter cleaning drives me a lot of work, a lot of washing work, a lot of seasonal agreements happen because of gutter cleaning. So the gutter cleaning I did this morning, I'm coming back in the fall, we're washing in the spring, and she has become a seasonal. So again, gutter cleaning is the big lead driver. If you're not doing gutter cleaning in New England, 
you may want to think about figuring it out. See, this is nasty. Hitting that with some roof wash while I'm while I'm set up. Let it dwell. All right, I've kicked my sauce down to about one percent on the dial, and I'm going to soft wash the front of this while Quinn's doing the rest of the project. And we're going to accelerate. We got a lot to do today. All right, you can see, look. It's coming right off. I just kicked the 5.5 on with the X6. So we're running on DPI now. What a difference that makes. Bringing the pressure washer in here adds a couple gallons per minute for me and really brings the X6 to life with punch. Of course, I'm on rinse mode now and I'll be able to do a much better job knocking stuff down. Fantastic. All right, I'm out in this very large mobile home uh, retirement park in Preston, Connecticut called Strawberry Park, doing some roof debris removal and gutter cleaning. And I'm taking note of how destroyed this roof is. <laughs> Debris removal with the blower here today. And of course, we're blowing out the very packed gutters. And that's all we can do. All right, set up and running on the next project. We got a raised ranch with a little bump on the back. We got a little garage on the side with gutters on it. I'm going on the roof with the 125 to blow the gutters out. Quinn is already wrapped around back house washing. Crank it on. See, a little bigger than you might expect. Debris on the roof. All right, we're out here working on a post construction product. This is another local contractor called Girls and Tools, locally owned company. And uh, they do all sorts of renovation kind of projects. They just finished renovating or are finishing renovating this uh, wraparound porch. And we're here to clean up some of the debris. Uh, primarily, I'm working on this brick foundation. So I have Quinn pre-wetting some vegetation and I'm putting some 3% on this brick to bring it back to life. And then we're gonna do a nice uh, M5 fan tip rinse momentarily. That's all water Quinn is spraying, making the plants look nice. And again, we're just cleaning up the dust and debris and killing the mildew that's gonna be on this foundation. All right, here we go. My sauce just transitioned. And I'm gonna lay some 3% all on this base, this brick. And we're gonna bring this back to life. Five, 10 minutes dwell time. And we should be in some real nice shape. You good, Quinn? What? Good? Yeah. 
behind you? Yep. Exactly. All right, there's our end result. Came out fantastic. Beautiful concrete looks fantastic. And we just did a little wet and forget down the hall, whole walkway to the road. All right, guys, that's it. We're out for the day. Catch you guys next week. Enjoy your weekend. Peace.